Right, so we are going to the beach today. Um, it's definitely not a beach weather. Oh, he said it was going to be lovely and sunny and warm and it's cloudy as anything. It's not, it's not cold, but still. Well, we're supposed to um, warm up later and the sun's supposed to come out. So it doesn't matter. I'm not going there to sunbathe really. We're just going to walk on the beach with Louis. Then we go for lunch somewhere, just a day out. So I'm just doing my usual, just bronzer look. I'm actually using the my old Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. There. Nice and quick. So it's quarter past nine. We just have something to eat. And we will make our way, I think it's about hour and a half drive I think we are going to West Withering we've been on that beach before I remember we stayed somewhere for a weekend near there yeah we've been on that beach before we were staying somewhere for a weekend and I remember us going there you I probably filmed it as well but that would have been three four years ago let's go to the beach <laughs> So we are on the beach, <laughs> beautiful British summer, <laughs> it's sort of brightening up, I don't know if you can hear me because it's a bit windy, uh, so this is like a bit more ugly be beach because <laughs> this one is for the dogs, so we're just going to walk for a while, Louis having fun in the sea and then we go and have something to eat get our chairs out because we brought some chairs as well and sit down somewhere and just enjoy the view when i call up up to say i'm in town i get an ocean we both walk the same ground been traveling all over, searching far and away For a sign to lead me straight We walk together Down the streets of our home It's been forever A long time that I've been gone The feelings come easy As we start a new Seems to enjoy it. Oh, bumblebee. <laughs> Where's your ball?
<laughs> Give it here, mummy. Give it here. I'll try it in the water. I've got a bigger throw than you. Ready? doing it again. <laughs> Hello, he's lying in his basket. <laughs> Very tired, covered in sand. just stopped off um, in this lovely pub on our way home because we are so hungry so we're gonna have something to eat here it's not very busy because it's well past lunchtime so at least we won't have to wait long but I am starving hello Louis Louis got somewhere to run around, don't you? Nice big garden. You explore. This morning, he said lots of reasons for people being put on no fly list. Sometimes it can just be that you have to check where they're going or check where they're coming from before you can actually allow them to get on a plane. Uh, but supposedly, according to uh, the UK government, this individual who was on a no fly list from Afghanistan um, has now been cleared and is effectively not any longer on a no fly list. So that's okay then. Right, I'm on the way to the gym. So it always feels really, you know, when you've had a break, no good to have breaks. So we had a lovely time yesterday on the beach. It did um, brighten up in the end. Oh, Louis was so funny. Did you see that bit when he's been digging? <laughs> that was so funny. I've never seen him doing that. <laughs> so cute and then I haven't filmed that bit afterwards he's just proceeded to put his whole face in the sand and rubbing his face in the sand I think I have a photo I might send the photo because I wasn't filming by then but I think Paul took a photo of him oh he is just so funny and he was so tired when we got home he was just dead um, so yeah, we had a lovely time. It was a bit of a trek, you know, to, to get there. Uh, the traffic wasn't that good. On the way back was okay. But yeah, it was really nice. So I don't know what we are going to do for the rest of this week. I know Paul's got a few appointments at the dam, so <laughs> he'd be taking things down from the loft, I suppose. And I have tons of laundry to do because I haven't done it for over one week so that's my homework hello I want to do some moaning oh my passport came look at it it's so different inside as well do you know someone pointed out to this and I think this is very important on the first page here you know the trouble now with traveling and the things you have to do so I want to see if this is actually something that you could call upon so on here it says Her Britannic Majesty's Secretary of State requests and requires in the name of her majesty all those whom it might concern to allow to allow the bearer 
to pass freely without let or hindrance and to afford the bearer such assistance and protection as may be necessary. So what that means in law I don't know but if you hold this passport no one they should let you pass freely without any hindrance. Someone pointed it out on some I've watched something I can't remember what it was anyway my morning five minutes so you know I went to have my eye test done I went to Vision Express I usually go to Specsavers um, but when I went there I won't tell you why I would not go in um, yeah I just couldn't go into that shop I went to Vision Express and it has been over three weeks now and I still haven't got my glasses and the worst thing about it is that I found three times now so I found about four days ago and someone said oh oh let me just check that and I will get back to you had nothing so I called again two days later someone and else answered the phone um, they said oh let me check that and I will call you back no one called me back so yesterday or the day before I actually called and asked for the manager and she said oh, oh yes I'm aware of it I was away for two weeks so um, I'm looking into it and she gave me some spin that it was something to do with blue coating on my glasses in a factory or whatever and then she said that someone was going from the shop to the factory and they were gonna pick it up I don't know it was just you know to I feel like brush me off although she was very polite and apologetic and she said that I should have it at the weekend it's Friday today and I still haven't heard anything so I will definitely never go to Vision Express again in fact what I had to do because I am really suffering without my glasses um, I mean I've got these these are just you know reading ones from Amazon I just made it up I don't know even what um, I can't remember what number they are but they're obviously not as good so I even went online and you know you get those online some um, online eyeglasses companies that you just give them your prescription and they will send it to you so I just chose a couple of really the cheapest glasses I could get because I need spare reading pair for for upstairs and then I need spare distance as well for watching TV um, so I did that I ordered a couple of pairs only like a couple of days ago and they should be here in seven days so yes I am still without glasses and it's really really annoying very bad customer service I understand that things can go wrong but not to tell you and even if you call twice still not let you know what's going on that is very bad so that's my mom for today uh, I'm going to do my toenails now they've grown out so much and I hate doing my toenails you know I sit on like a little stool but you still have to bend over and because I can't see properly it's quite a nightmare but thankfully toes don't need to be done I do my toes I don't know maybe every 10 weeks I think I'm gonna do the same color this is a bit different you know um, that color that I really like um, the discotheca case from indigo nails well this is very similar I don't know if you can see in this camera it's just a bit more lilac and this one is called Be My Habibi they have weird names 
so I think because I've faked on myself as well so my feet are a bit darker I thought I put that light one on I, I normally have like a bright pink on my toes but I think I might do this one it'd be probably the last time that I need to really care about what I've got on my toes because in 10 weeks we will be in autumn I probably won't be wearing flip-flops anymore sandals right so I'm going to go and do that hi my lovelies I just finished filming so I did this full face of Catrice so it's like full face of drugstore and the sun is coming out um, I really enjoyed it actually you know I haven't done makeup video I think for four weeks now and it was real fun to sit with you and do makeup together uh, surprise surprise my son, my glasses are still not here it's weekend now and she promised me that um, whoever was going to the factory was going to bring my glasses had absolutely nothing so I am a bit seething now um, I am going to get some money off of them because this is unacceptable but what I wanted to talk about my vitamin bible has arrived so you know that I've been probably since last winter into supplements because of what's been going on to boost my immune system and all that and I got really really interested in it now this is not a new book but this particular one came out on the 25th of August because it is the latest updated version so uh, what it says for decades L L Mindel's vitamin Bible has been America's most trusted source for information about vitamins and supplements. Now this indispensable guide has been updated with the latest research including three brand new chapters on how to use supplements to boost your immune system, which supplements are best for combating the effects of aging and the myriad short and long term benefits of taking CBD supplements and I'm quite interested in that because CBD has been gaining um, popularity in the last few years but I've never really looked into it I've even had um, some companies contacting me to see if I wanted to try some but I thought well I don't really know enough about it so I am excited I started reading it I'm highlighting bits in it now this book is wonderful but not physically <laughs> it is quite cheaply made book very thin pages and of course the text is so small and I've got no glasses well I have some but they are not really right for it so um, it's not a book that is you know um, beautiful with pictures and you know just quite inexpensively made book but that doesn't matter content is much more um, ex um, important so I have I am now on a chapter three which is everything you wanted to know about vitamins but had no one to ask so this chapter goes through all the vitamins from a to z what they do how to take them um, if they have any side effects stuff like that and i'm so so into this book so it says things like a lot of people think vitamins can replace food they cannot in fact vitamins cannot be assimilated without ingesting food uh, so he talks about how to take the vitamins that you know because some vitamins are water soluble some are fat soluble there are different forms of vitamins as well um i love the it's just such an educational book it has here a chapter on understanding your digestive system uh, and it goes through your mouth and esophagus what happens there then the stomach um, I didn't know for example that virtually nothing is absorbed through the stomach walls except alcohol <laughs> and it says watery substances such as soup leave the stomach quite rapidly fats remain considerably longer an ordinary meal of carbohydrates proteins and fats is emptied from the average stomach in three to five hours then he talks about small intestine large intestine liver gallbladder 
pancreas um, then he talks about enzymes how uh, important enzymes are it's just so interesting because i think if you start understanding how your whole digestive system works you maybe become more conscious of what you eat because obviously that's very important you can't eat rubbish and take vitamins and then you'll be fine this i found very um interesting you know if you get indigestion and reflux he says if you think that you have an over acid problem or heartburn for which you are dosing yourself with with an antacid such as Pepsi, Tums, Alka-Seltzer, you are probably unaware that the symptoms of having too little acid are exactly the same as having too much. So even if you have had heartburn and acid reflux, it must mean it might mean that you don't have enough. In which case the taking of antacids could be the worst possible thing for you to do. Um, well, I won't read all this to you, but I'm just looking with what I've highlighted so far. You see, for example, this, your body needs to get in this. As important as vitamins are, they can do nothing for you without minerals. Because, though very few people are aware of it, Vitamins cannot function and cannot be assimilated without the aid of minerals. So, as though the body can synthesize some vitamins, it cannot manufacture a single mineral. Then he talks about antioxidants. He says that it is impossible to sustain life without all the essential vitamins. A deficiency in even one vitamin can endanger the whole human body. Yes, so I am now going through each vitamin and what are they for. So, yes, I am so happy with this book. I think it was around seven British pounds. I got it on Amazon. I pre-ordered it. Um, so yeah, if you want to get this book, get the latest version because you have those three extra chapters, um, chapters there. I am so into supplements. Listen, the thing is, I don't know if you feel the same, but since all this COVID business, I have lost complete trust in medical profession. Obviously not all doctors and all medical professionals are bad but what is happening here it's ridiculous like I said you cannot see your GP face to face at all I know some people say they can maybe their GPs are different and you are lacking that respect but I haven't seen my GP for over two years. One that I didn't need to. Well, I really wanted to see my GP with my ears, but um, they won't see me. I can talk to, to the nurse, you know, and, and it's all on the phone. How can you diagnose someone over the phone without touching them, looking at them? And funny enough, I just watched a video, some article revealed that GPs have the NHS is paying GPs so much money not to see people face to face to do you know remote consultations I think it's disgusting uh, NHS is there to protect us not other way around and I just have lost complete faith in our health system and why I'm talking about it because I remember and to these days a lot of uh, doctors will tell you that I never believed in supplementation because I remember doctors always saying the vitamins and supplements is just an expensive we that you we it all out you know just goes through you you don't absorb anything it's rubbish and since I've been looking into more of a functional medicine and basically how to what to do to prevent illness in the first place instead of just treating the symptoms of the illness and putting band-aid on it what to do to prevent it obviously good diet and exercise and good sleep is very important but I have learned that like I don't trust the pharmaceutical companies either you know to them we are just customers so 
if we are healthy they're not making money they like to keep us ill i think and that's why this narrative that vitamins do nothing uh because if we all maybe supplemented and lived healthier lives we wouldn't need to be on so many drugs and the pharmaceutical companies wouldn't make so much money that is just my opinion so and and you know why i feel so strongly about it now is the vitamin d and my depression i've talked to you about it um a few times now in my monday vlogs uh, that i really feel obviously i cannot prove it but i can't see any other reason that i have managed to come off my antidepressants and the only different thing that i have done is taking um, quite high doses of vitamin d because vitamin d is not just a vitamin it's a hormone as well so um i don't know if you would like me to maybe one in one of my monday vlogs talk to you and show you what supplements i'm taking right now um obviously once i've read this book i might change it up a bit i'm just you know it's like a trial and error right now um i've i've just watched a lot of of things and and research a bit about different vitamins uh but i don't have the knowledge obviously and none of it what i'm saying is obviously advice you should ask your doctor if you want if he will speak to you um and you know don't take what i'm saying or showing you as advice i'm just sharing what i am doing and what works for me and we are all different so um yeah but i will strongly strongly recommend this book it's fascinating i mean i'm fascinated by things like that anyway and with what's been going on i think i'm like an immunologist now <laughs> i've been researching immuno uh, I have been reading immunology, I've been reading all about um, immune system, about antibodies, T cells and all that good stuff. Um, I think we should really be more proactive and inform ourselves better because you can't just trust somebody because they said so. We've become a um, population of people that trust someone just because they were in uniform or hold a high public office or wear a white coat you know they still just people and i think i mean i've never been the sort of person that trusts just the first thing you hear i like to hear different opinions i like to research it myself and inform myself as much as I can because you know it's like I know this is not comparison when it comes to your health but uh, for example with makeup if I if I am interested in particular foundation I don't just watch one uh, review or read or read one review and because this person loved it I go and buy it um, I will watch and read lots of reviews and see what people liked about it, didn't like about it and then make a decision if this is right for me. I even do that with reviews for hotels and holidays. When I read those reviews, I usually read the negative ones first because some people you know like to whinge about anything the spoon was small or something the spoons were not big enough so i usually read the negative um reviews first and i see if these things that people complain about would affect me do i care about that so i think we've become a bit lazy i would say we just rely too much on what we see on the tv on social media and I think reading and researching for yourself goes a long way. Yeah, I find it really strange. If I sat here and told you, I don't know, to do something that would have 
real impact on your life or on your health you would say, oh, shut up, Nisha, what do you know? But if you heard it on a TV, on mainstream media, well, not everybody, but some people, to them, that's gospel. And because I heard it on a TV, it must be true, it must be right thing to do, I'm going to do it. You know, I feel like we need to take a bit more of a personal responsibility for our own lives and health as well. Um, not just blindly following what someone tells you because not everybody has good intentions for for you, you know But that might be just me because I I am a very suspicious person I don't just trust first thing I hear. I've always been like this. I've always would go and dig in deeper and research things so Maybe that's just my personality Today I'm not doing much, I'm going to wash some brushes, um, Paul has gone to a car show, um, Max has gone to another car show, you know my boys are a bit loopy about cars, they have these Japanese unusual cars, I think Paul, I don't even know what they're called, I don't even know what Paul's car, uh, Max's car is, but this child i know he's not a child but he acts like one spent so much money on his car um redoing it and everything and uh, poses gti something i don't know i'm not into cars at all i want my car to be nice and comfortable that's all and get me from a to b um but yeah my boys are a bit loopy about that so i've had a morning on my own which was nice <laughs> all right my lovelies i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye